What's going on guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Adam Letter and behind me is my 1993 Series 1 Mark IV Supra. I've had this car for 14 years and I've done a whole bunch of stuff to it. So let's roll it outside and I'll give you a rundown of what I've actually done. Okay, let's start with the exterior guys. Now, the paint, please excuse it, it's good from far, far from good. The clear is 14 years old, and the paint underneath, as far as I'm aware, is original. This car's been a daily for a long part of its life, so she's taken a bit of a beating, but she's held up pretty strong. Now, front bumper, Dolux style, rep. It's a rep bumper, guys, it's not genuine, and I'm okay with that. Side skirts. Now, these are blitz side skirts. I don't know if they're genuine or replica, they came on the car when I bought it and I've just left them on. They, they look all right. They suit the, the kit that it has at the moment. Rear spats. Now these are genuine veal side rear spats. The only reason they're genuine is because that's what on, was on uh, Facebook Marketplace when I was looking for them. If they were some reps, I probably would have got them as well, but it just turned out they were genuine. You can even see your little your fancy sticker down inside. I don't know if that comes through on the camera, but yeah, veal side. So hot boy points, right? Anyway. No spoiler. I have run no spoiler for years. I just like the look of it. It's, it's a nice, smooth, clean look, but I have actually just ordered a spoiler for the car the other week. It's gonna be about two months before it gets in. You guys can come along with me in that video when we do install the mock-up because that is also a rep. So we may have some fitment issues, but we'll work through it together. It's all good. We are running 19 inch VSKFs. Nine and a half in the back, eight and a half in the front. We're running plus 39 fitment in the rear, plus 40 fitment in the front. That is terrible offset. Uh, so I'm running a 20 mil spacer in the rear and a 35 mil spacer in the front just to get some bit stronger fitment. I will be rebuilding these eventually with much deeper outer lips, but that's for another video. Sitting behind the rims, I've done the LS400 brake upgrade because this was an NA5 speed. It's now a single turbo GTE with a six speed behind it, but we'll get to that in a minute. I've done the drilled and slotted rotors and also they're sitting, the car's actually sitting on uh, HSD Mono Pro coilovers. They're great. They're affordable. They perform really well and I'm really happy with them. Now in the front, the headlights, we've done an LED swap much brighter if any of you out there have got a supra you'll know that the headlights aren't the greatest and i tried the hids i wasn't a big fan i just had a few issues with them so i just swapped out for leds uh i do want to pull these apart i feel like they need a rebuild i want to do the the inserts black i want to just refresh the whole thing but i'll do a how-to video on that in the future when i decide to do it these indicators were factory indicators i pulled them apart because they are pretty haggard pretty bad condition. I've put some LED sequential indicators in it as well as daytime running lights. I'll insert a video of those here. And to go along with the theme of LED and sequential, I got some LED sequential side markers. eBay special turned out great. Really, really best purchase. The tail lights are Series 1 tail lights because this is a Series 1, guys. I'm not going to pretend it's a Series 2 because it's not. So I love the Series 1. I love the tail lights and so on. So yeah, I'm sticking with those. I'm not going to change them to LEDs or anything because they just look really good how they are. Okay, now on the interior, we have got an LED dash conversion. Now they are just the little LED lights. I haven't actually gone and rebuilt the whole thing with a new LED setup. They're just the, the twist-in T10s that you can get for it. Got a carbon fiber dash overlay. It's actual carbon fiber, but it's a sticker, essentially. So it's a thick, hard resin sticker. It looks incredible, I love it. Over there on the passenger side, we have a genuine carbon fiber gauge pod with some rep defi gauges. We've also got a rep defi gauge instead of the clock. Coming forward, we've got the Lexus IS200 steering wheel 
Ray wrapped it in leather with red stitch to match the handbrake and the gear leather boots with red stitching. That's a WRX shifter. I needed that style for the reverse gear lockout. Coming back, we've got Bride Lomaxes. They are fakes, boys. They're carbon backs, but they were brand new. They looked amazing and they're comfortable. And they were, I think about 800 bucks with the brackets and then I fitted them. In the back, we have a home built custom boot and rear seat delete. 10 inch Pioneer sub under there. Soundstream 1000 watt D type uh, amp for the sub and a Blaupunkt four channel for the speakers. Now I'm actually only running two speakers. I'm running two six inch splits in the front. They're Hertz and I custom mounted those tweeters because I hate seeing tweeters up on the dash. We've also got the Sony 10 year old doubled in uh, that runs the whole thing. That needs an upgrade. We will be doing that in a future video. But uh, yeah, that's the interior for you boys. Okay, so here's the engine guys. This car came out originally NA five speed. I threw both of those in the bin. I bought an Aristo front cup with a twin turbo 2JZ and I went and bought a V160 gearbox as well. Now, I pulled the stock turbos off and I put on a GDX 3582R, so that's the one with the billet core. The bottom end I rebuilt with ACL race bearings, chrome piston rings, and then I just did a full refresh of the motor. It's not a full built motor, it's just we did the bearings and the rings because they were cheap and they go on the OEM option. Now, we've got a custom intake pipe, thanks to WTF Auto. They helped me with a lot of the work. I did most of the install myself, but the small finicky or the fabrication stuff, I got them to do because I can't do that and they're absolute jets at it. They're over in Perth in Australia. The turbo manifold is actually a China manifold. Kind of, can't see if you can, oh, you can kind of see it in there. Look, she ain't pretty. But when I was getting it, everyone was talking about six boost this, six boost that. They're very, very expensive. And I thought, well, this China manifold is about 180 bucks. Let's give it a go. So I bought it, I took it to some fabricators and I said, guys, I want you to cut this apart and re-weld the whole thing with good welds or inspect it and tell me what you think. They called me about an hour later and said, mate, this thing is built incredibly. We are surprised how little you paid for this. So you're good to go. Now they did put a T4 flange on it and welded that on a specific angle, as you can see, so the turbo can sit right. That cost me about $100. That's that's a win in my books, I'll tell you that. And that's been on there for 70,000 kilometers. Hasn't skipped a beat. Now, off the back of the V160, we've got a custom tail shaft. Uh, it's the tail shaft that matches the V160 to the NA diff. The NA diff is running four, I think it's 411 diff gears, so it's quite snappy. This thing's like driving a go-kart. It's really quick through the gears, but it's a lot of fun. She's pushing out 334 horsepower at the tires. So that kind of power with those diff gears, it's, it's just great fun. I don't really need more power, but I will be going for more eventually when I upgrade the injectors. I'm running a Titan Motorsport drag clutch. Uh, they, they actually discontinued the one that I bought, but they've got another option there at the moment and it looks just as good. So when this one wears out, I will be going that option. We've got an alley radiator and thermo fans. Again, eBay special, never skipped a beat. I'm gonna be changing these thermos to a 16 inch. They're two, I think they're two 12 inches at the moment. They're not really doing the job on the very hot days when you're running your air conditioner. I spoke to a workshop recently and they said, look, you've got to upgrade that to 116 inch. So that's what I'll be doing very soon. We have our front mount intercooler. Again, she's trying to spec boys. I haven't got a thousand horsepower and I'm not aiming for a thousand horsepower. So this has been amazing for this whole build. The cold, the cold side pipes are factory. Oh, you could say factory, sorry. They came with the kit. Whereas the hot side are custom. I built them myself. Got a bunch of different pipes and connected them in different ways. I will be getting that made into one pipe soon, but I just wanted to make sure that the route that I was taking would work and it has worked really, really well. Off the back of the Garrett Turbo, we've got a three inch down pipe that goes all the way, goes down into a hundred cell cat because I want to keep the cat because I like the environment. Out the back of the cat, three inch to the Canon muffler, 
So there's your cannon there, and I got WTF to put their stamp on because they actually made a really cool custom exhaust for me. What they've done, they've created an exhaust that is a screamer pipe, and then when I want, I can put a plumback pipe back in. So when I'm on track, I've got the screamer pipe going, but when I'm on the road, I can put the plumback back in and be legal. Now, running this engine is a Howtech Elite 2000. I've actually only recently got that because my factory ECU died and I had to upgrade to something, so why not upgrade to the best? We did our tunes and our runs on that. 334 horse at the rears, like I said before, because my injectors are maxing out. They're, they're about 85% duty cycle, but I am in Melbourne, so when the temperatures change and go drastically low, I don't want to get a boost spike and go running lean. So I said, look, that's fine. 334 with those diff gears is a lot of fun for me. I will be going more power. Uh, when we change the injectors, fuel rail and lines, if I need to, and we're gonna to aim to break 400 horse at the rears. Once I do that, I am happy. That with those diff gears, I'm a happy man. For some reason, that diff is an LSD. It's an NA diff and it shouldn't be as far as I'm aware. People tell me it's a Torsen, people tell me they're not LSD, but that has grabbed to always. It's not welded, but look, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say it's probably a Torsen and it just acts very, very well. We've got the 44 mil teal gate down the back that goes to that screamer slash pump back option. And we've got a custom, let's call it a custom power steering reservoir because, oh look, let's just be honest with you. It's a VZ Commodore one, guys. I've got Commodore parts on my Supra, but look how pretty it is. Yeah, she's got a little bit of dirt on it. She probably needs a bit of a clean, sorry about that. But it just, it's really nice and tidy. I do want to do a battery to the boot at some point, And I also do want to do some, what are they called, drift cups for the front, the front lift system, just so it's easier for me to get around. Uh, this, as you boys that run lowered cars know, they're a bit of a pain, but we love them. So that's pretty much the current state of the build, guys. There will be more coming along. I've got a new front bumper, same style. I've got new side skirts to match the bumper, new rear spats to match the bumper and the side skirts. I've got a spoiler coming in, which I'll be doing a video on, uh, how to install and so on. I've got a new head unit that'll be coming in. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of new things coming onto this car, but also I have got a new JDM platform coming in, a new car. I'm waiting for it to land from Japan right now. I'm not very uh, well versed with this new platform, so I'm gonna be learning as well as you guys. We can learn it together. And I'll be doing some how-tos, I'll be doing some you know, overviews of the car and so on. So if you like what you've seen, hit like, hit subscribe, follow along for the rest of the journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks heaps, guys.